In this demonstration video of the Symphony theme, I'm going to show you how to set up a Jetpack portfolio. You can use it on your homepage, you can use it on a portfolio page, uh, but you can get Symphony for free over at wordpress.org slash themes slash Symphony. Um, and again, we're going to be leveraging uh, the Jetpack plugin. So you're going to need the Jetpack plugin too. I'm going to dive into that in a moment. Um, we're going to show you how to display portfolios, uh, which uh, you can read more uh, about uh, on Jetpack's website or over on wordpress.com, uh, sort of where it was inspired from. But basically what we're doing is creating a custom post type called portfolio. We're adding uh, our image uh, in the featured image, and then we can just go ahead and add content in the editor, um, categorize it and stuff like that. So I've already got a demo set up. Uh, this is out of the box um, symphony theme, and it's already set up uh, with three portfolio pieces from Jetpack. And as you can see, uh, as we hover over, there's a little bit of styling around this, gives it much more of a portfolio feel. Uh, our theme will automatically display this for you, and it will also automatically add uh, the project categories that you have up top. So let's just take a look at how that's set up. We're going to go to the dashboard. We're going to go to portfolio. And you'll see our three portfolio pieces here, landscapes, uh, building views, and a uh, shot of the ocean. And we'll go to our project tags, or excuse me, our project types. You see our three categories there. I'm going to add another one called people. I'm going to add that. I'm going to go to uh, add new. I'm going to add my fake portfolio stuff. I'm going to make sure I check off um, the project type or category as it's known uh, as to, to, to people is what I just set up. I'm going to select an image. I have this image. I'm going to set that as featured image. And again, you can add more photos here. You can use default uh, or core WordPress gallery if you wanted to add more of your photos within your portfolio. So we're just going to go ahead and publish that. Give that a second. Now we're going to take a look at it on the front end. So let's view that. Uh, this is your standard sort of WordPress, WordPress post. There's the featured image. That's the post title. I could continue to add content here if I wanted to. Um, but let's take a step back to portfolio. And uh, there is uh, the portfolio piece that we just added. Uh, there's the category called people. And uh, that's it. That's as easy as it is uh, to display the Jetpack portfolio section. Again, if we go back to Jetpack, we want to make sure, uh, number one, that you have Symphony th free Symphony theme installed uh, over from WordPress. You want to make sure that you have Jetpack installed, and you also want to make sure you have the custom content types enabled. Uh, if it's not enabled, if it's like this, you just want to hit activate, and that'll uh, go ahead and activate custom uh, content types. Let's go ahead and configure it, uh, just so you can check on it. Uh, when you're using our Symphony theme, it'll say your theme supports Jetpack Portfolio because obviously we have added um, support for that. And then the one last thing, uh, if you go into our theme options of Symphony, go to Layout. Now you noticed before, uh, let me just pull it up one more time. You notice before that when we go to the Portfolio page, uh, we have this sidebar here um, and maybe we want to get rid of that. Uh, now if most people are using Symphony for uh, portfolio or just a, as a portfolio theme. Um, if they're using it for services, for their businesses, things like that. But you can just go ahead and switch uh, our global layout to full width. Let's save that. And we'll refresh this. <clears throat> That'll go ahead and remove the sidebar. Now you have this uh, more full width experience for, uh, for your portfolio. Uh, and again, Symphony does come with a whole bunch of options that you can customize to sort of make this uh, a little bit more uh, unique. Uh, for instance, we're displaying the Jetpack categories uh, in the uh, secondary sidebar or secondary uh, header section. So we can do something like background color and just style it a little bit more. That'll change that to gray. We could uh, go all the way dark and then change the navigation to white, right? And if you wanted to, uh, yeah, that's the, you could add a, a different navigation on top of that. If you wanted to bump up the font sizes, that's also uh, fairly easy. We can just do something like that and save and publish. 
And there you have it, that symphony theme uh, using Jetpack Portfolio uh, to create the custom post types, and then you can enter in your content and photos, and it'll automatically create the portfolio page for you. If you want to learn more, uh, again, it's slocumthemes.com, or if you want to try out Symphony, head on over to wordpress.org slash themes slash symphony. 